Hi and welcome to this Zenworks Mobile Management how-to video. In this video we're going to introduce you to the Zenworks Mobile Management Dashboard. The Zenworks Mobile Management Dashboard is the main management tool used to manage Zenworks Mobile Management by the administrator. It does require the latest version of Adobe Flash Player and it is used to manage enrolled devices. So if you've previously watched the videos related to enrolling iOS, Symbian, Android, or Windows Mobile, you'll see those devices as we go through this setup. Within the dashboard, you have the following main tabs. You have the activity monitor, you have users, you have the organization tab, the reporting tab, and the system tab. We won't look in depth at each one of these tabs. We'll just do a basic overview. There will be future videos that cover each in more detail. So here we have the main management console for the Zenworks mobile management product. And most of the time, you'll start out at the activity monitor. The activity monitor gives you a real quick view of what's happening in your system, very graphical. If I go ahead and say get the most recent data, for instance, you'll see that this changes to show Android, iOS, and Symbian as we've now registered some Symbian devices into the system. Additionally, these graphs can be changed to any of these ones listed here. So if you don't find one of these useful, for instance, you want devices by ownership, instead you'd like to see devices by violation, you can add that, and that's a real-time change. We can close the graph overlays, and you'll see that this chart has now become the devices by violation. Thus far, I haven't got any restricted devices in the system. The users page is where you see all of the information about end users in the system, as well as devices. So here you'll see I've selected an iOS device assigned to this support user. I can tell it's iOS by just looking here. If I double click, I can get the basic details about this device. And so this is where I can change information about the user. I can see the last time he synced up and some of the basic data. So for instance, this is an iPod fourth generation. Additionally, since this is an iOS device, I have some more detailed information. If I go into the device information, I can see things like the Bluetooth Mac or the Wi-Fi Mac. I can also see the installed applications that have been installed on this device, as well as if I'm doing any managed mobile applications, I can see those. From here, I can also assign iOS corporate resources. This will be the topic of another video. The organization page is where you configure most of the non-device specific things. So for instance, policy suites. I'll have a video on policy suites, but this is where you configure all of the settings that you want. The device connection schedule is where you control how frequently the device checks in. Your administrative LDAP servers are used to determine which LDAP servers are used for administrative authentication. You have active sync servers that you're going to be proxying for. And then you have custom columns to add information that may be stored in your LDAP server into the database. Additionally, you then have compliance manager, which will be the topic of another video, file shares which is how you actually assign files or share files with your mobile devices, and mobile apps, which is how you assign mobile apps to devices. The group emailing and the SMTP server are used so that you can send emails throughout the system, both manually and automatically. The SMTP server is always populated. The group emailing is an interface where you can go in and send emails based on conditions. Additionally, you then have the Corporate Resources for iOS Devices section, which controls the iOS resources that can be registered with those devices. The reporting page provides you quick access to some basic reports, such as show me all of my devices by liability, whether they're corporate owned or company owned, and it will show you a quick list. You can then export that data at your leisure. On the system page, you have your basic administrative capabilities for the system. This is where you control your certificates. This is where you control your default policy suites and default schedules for hands-off enrollment. This is where you can configure administrators. This is something that will be the topic of another video. This is also where you can see your current version of the product. You can view logs that are important to the system, and you can manage your organizational roles. Now, depending on whether you're logged in as an organization admin or a system admin, 
You'll also see a system management section in this that allows you to create additional organizations as well as do things like update management. Those will also be covered in future videos. So what you've seen here is the basic administration console for Zenworks Mobile Management. Thank you for joining.